what's up YouTube, how goes it? So obviously you clicked on this video for a very particular reason and that is on how to remove Windows S mode from Windows 11 or even Windows 10 for that matter. And if that's all you're interested in, no problemo, simply go to the timestamp mentioned here and it'll take you straight to the part where I show you a screen tutorial of how to quickly remove Windows S mode in literally a minute's worth of time. But some of you may be interested in learning what Windows S mode is, how it may or may not be benefiting you, and ultimately, of course, whether or not you should remove it. For those of you, stay tuned, hang on for the ride, let's get started. In the simplest of terms, Windows S mode is essentially Microsoft's take on competing with the likes of Chromebook or even iPad's iOS ecosystem. How they do this essentially is they make it so you can only use Windows in a very particular way. And anytime you want to install any program, the only way you can do so is by going through Microsoft's own official app store. So if you're looking for, let's say Candy Crush or any other game for that matter, again, you'll go to Microsoft's app store. Now, let's say you want to install Google Chrome and remove Microsoft Edge or Firefox for that matter you cannot install Google Chrome because it is not available in the Microsoft App Store. And if you go to download it, you'll very quickly find you get this annoying pop-up that says that you're in Windows S mode and you can install non-Microsoft certified apps. Now, of course, Microsoft justifies the saying, hey, it's a security thing. We want to make sure you don't install unauthorized apps, but for most people, they know what they're doing. Now, of course, with that said, Windows S mode does have very small benefits for a very particular subset of people. And those people are the ones who usually have no idea how to use Windows or what they're installing. And I don't wanna be stereotypical, that usually puts us in the grandpa or grandma category. So let's say your grandmother or whoever for that matter tends to get a lot of viruses unintentionally because they download the wrong type of programs when they're trying to instead do something else. Well, Windows S mode kind of makes sure that that's a very unlikely possibility because the only way they can install programs is with the App Store of Microsoft, which has all Microsoft certified apps, hence very little chance of viruses or ransomware. But for the vast majority of people, they want to have the full utilization of Windows. After all, they did buy Windows because of how robust Windows is in terms of its availability with programs. Now, the final thing I will say is when you do opt to leave S mode, Microsoft tries to give you a bit of a heart attack by saying S mode is a one-way street and they're not lying. You can only leave Windows S mode and you cannot come back to it. But again, why would you need to? Windows S mode is essentially a handicapped version of the full version of Windows 11, meaning that they've taken away the ability to install programs. So when you leave Windows S mode, you're just getting the full product that you paid for in the first place, of course. So really it's a win-win situation and you would have very little reason to come back to Windows S mode and re-handicap your existing version of Windows. Hopefully I'm making sense as to what Windows S mode is and who it might be intended for. Again, at this point, you most likely want to remove it, which is the next part of this video. Just a heads up guys, if you are enjoying the content, if you find it to be helpful, hit that like button, consider subscribing to my channel. It genuinely helps me grow and helps me provide more content for awesome people like yourself. But let's go on to the tutorial part now. The first thing you're going to want to do is confirm that you do in fact have Windows S mode. You can simply do this by clicking the magnifying glass below and typing system information or just system and click on the system information app. Give it a quick second to launch. Once it launches, you're going to notice on the right side, there are a bunch of line items. You're gonna look at item number one, which says OS name. And right next to it, you'll see the value is Windows 11 Home Edition in S mode. If you see the S mode over there, automatically you know it's S mode. If it weren't, you wouldn't see the S mode there regardless of what version of Windows you were running. Okay, so the final step is to remove S mode. So again, click on the magnifying glass. This time, type settings. And on the top corner, you're gonna click on the settings application. This will load a new window. And over here on the left side, you wanna go to the systems tab if you aren't already there. Then on the right pane, simply drag down until you see another tab called activation. Click on the activation tab, it's a big one so you can't miss it. And again, right away you'll see it says Windows 10 Home in S mode. So you're gonna go down to the second drop down menu, click on it, and you're gonna see Microsoft gives you a warning that you can't install third party apps. And in order to do so, you have to open the store and switch out of S mode. So click on the open store button and it's gonna load your best friend for now, the Microsoft App Store, which the first thing I'll show you is the switch out of S mode button the get button actually, but above that, there's this big fat paragraph that gives you 20 reasons not to switch over from S mode. And at the bottom, you're also gonna notice they've actually even included a comparison table of S mode versus full version of Windows, which is honestly 
hilarious because the full version of Windows literally offers everything Esmo does and more with the exception of perhaps the likelihood of getting viruses. Now with that said, you're gonna go straight to the top and click that big fat blue button, the get button. Once you do this, it's gonna start working on it right away. Anywhere from a couple of seconds to a few minutes, you'll see a window pop up that says you're all set. And just like that, you are now officially out of Windows S mode and you can use Windows 11 like everyone else and install all the programs you want to, of course, provided your hardware and software is compatible with it. If there's anything you can take away from all this, it's that someone was brave enough in Microsoft to say, hey guys, would probably include a official way to leave Windows S mode, otherwise it'll probably tick off a ton of consumers. And that was a great decision by Microsoft. It's good to know there's an official way to have the full version of Windows instead of the rather constricted S mode. As always, if you guys enjoyed the content, if you found this video to be informative, hit that like button, sub to my channel. It helps me grow and reach more awesome people like yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. See ya.